Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I want to show you how to blur faces without masking using a free AI tool. This is free to use, and I'm going to show you how to do it here. We've got the big Lebowski, and I've uh, kind of blurred out Donnie and Walter and the dude's faces. How did I do it? Let me show you. It should take no longer than 90 seconds. Let's start from scratch. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. First step, runwayml.com. I'll put a link in the description. This is the... Uh, the AI tool that a lot of people are talking about, and it's wonderful. Sign up if you don't have an account. It's free, and you just use a Gmail or an Apple account. If you've got one, click on Login, and off we go. Once you're in, you're going to see on the left side a bunch of options. We want AI magic tools. Click on that, and then you're going to see a huge list of things that are, all of them are really, really cool. But the one that we want to talk about today and take a look at is down here on the bottom right called Blur Faces. Left click on that. And then presto, you're going to see this here. Now, it says here we can drag and drop any file. So I'm going to go into my Finder, or if you're on a PC, go into your Explorer. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab some, some Big Lebowski stuff, okay? So drag and drop it in there. It loads super duper fast, as you can see here. So we're going to be able to work with this pretty darn quickly. Now, while it's detecting faces, I'm going to come back when it's done. It should take only a few seconds, and then I'm going to show you the next step. All right, that only took like five or six seconds. Excellent. Now, out of the box, it does a pretty good job, but it doesn't do a perfect job, and I'm going to show you. Once we get to Walter, or no, pardon me, once we get to the dude, you're going to see here that it sort of flashes in and out. So for the first part of this video, Walter and Donnie are done pretty good, but we want to fix up the dude here. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to move this. So I'm going to move the playhead, basically, to a shot where the blur is not what I want it to be. It's not exactly where I want it to be. And you need to go ahead and click on Redetect Faces. Basically, by doing that, you're telling the, the AI that, hey, this, this shot here wasn't correct. Please redetect it, but redetect it based off of that shot. So when we go through it again, I'm going to hit play. You're going to see it does a lot better job. So that's all it is, is you just have to click Redetect Faces. Now, there's a chance that this might not be the correct amount of blur. So if you want to pad it, watch this. I'll go ahead and increase the padding substantially. Maybe too much, but I just want to show you this last final thing. And there we go. And then you'll see here that the blur dimensions got a little bit bigger. And as I roll through it here, it's just more of the face is blurred if you need to do that. So it's just blur padding. The last step here is you can click on export. And when you do that, make be extra careful that you uh, when you select the resolution, it defaults to SD, which is standard definition. You don't want that. You want 720p or if you're an upgraded member, select the high def 1080. Um, that's all there is to it. That's how you blur faces with no masking with a free tool. Thanks for watching.